boys and girls. Today we are going to be reading a book called Sun, One in a Billion. And a couple weeks ago I recorded myself reading Earth, my first 4.54 million years. So this is another book that goes along with that series. So it is by Stacy McAnulty and it's illustrated by Stevie Lewis. Sun, one in a billion. Let's jump right in. Once upon a time, about 4.6 billion years ago, a magnificent and important star was born. And that magnificent and important star was me, your son with a capital S. Yes, I am a star. The definition of star is one, a massive and luminous ball of gas full of energy. Two, an outstandingly talented and popular performer. I fit both definitions. The Milky Way galaxy has over 100 billion stars. That makes me one in a billion or um, one in 100 billion. And then you can see that that is the sun right there. So that's the Milky Way galaxy and then he's right there. You can barely see him. I'm not the biggest, so what? Not the brightest, who cares? Not the oldest, whatever. But I am the most important, at least to you earthlings. Can you hang out for eight minutes? That's how long it takes my light to reach earth. Yep, I give you heat and light. You're welcome. I'm so important that earthlings should name a special day in my honor. We can call it Sunday. Oh, wait get it because we already have a sunday and he wanted to make a national holiday called sunday famous for my heat and light but i also hold our entire solar system together scientists call it gravity what can i say the planets are attracted to me do you know what gravity means gravity is what keeps us on the ground and because I'm the center of our solar system, life revolves around me, literally. Look, they all go in the same direction. If you look at the sun, you will see all of the planets revolving around the sun and they all go in the same direction. However, it takes the each planet a longer amount of time that's away from the sun to get around the sun. For instance, for Earth, it takes 365 Earth days to get around the sun. But for Neptune, it takes 60,190 Earth days to get around the sun. And let's go with Mercury. It takes Mercury 88 Earth days to get around the sun. Those other stars are far, far away from Earth, which makes them look teeny tiny and not so important. I'm close, a mere 93 million miles from Earth. To an Earthling, I look like this. But to Neptunians, I'm 2,795 million miles away, and I look like this. If there were Neptunians, there's no known life on Neptune. To us, the sun looks like that. He looks like he's right there. But to Neptune, the sun is that tiny little dot right there. So, depending on how far away he is, he looks bigger or smaller from the planet. Technically, I'm a yellow dwarf star, but I'm still a big, big deal. If I were the size of a basketball, Earth would be smaller than a grain of sand. You could fit about one million Earths inside of me. He has his identification card, and that looks like his driver's license, which is something that you get when you turn 16 or older. And so it says his name is the sun, his type is a dwarf star, his DOB, which is date of birth, is long ago. And he is a part of G2 Milky Way, and he is a plasma donor. But you can't fill me with Earths because I'm hot stuff. Compared to a hot summer day, he's 90 degrees Fahrenheit, a pizza oven, 700 degrees Fahrenheit, the orange yellow flames in a campfire about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, me himself, 
He is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit on the surface. I can melt diamonds. Me at my center is 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Ancient earthlings thought I circled the earth. Can you imagine me revolving around earth? And some might think that I sit in the sky all day and all night, but I got moves, baby. I'm spinning. And because I'm not solid, my middle moves faster than my top and bottom. So about 25 Earth days to rotate and about 36 Earth days to rotate. Don't try this at home. I'm not only important, I'm generous and good looking. Sit back and enjoy the show. Sometimes I like to be mysterious and sneak away for a few minutes. Solar eclipse. But don't worry, I'm just behind the moon. While I'm astronomically bigger than the moon, 400 times wider, the moon is astronomically closer to Earth, almost 400 times closer. My neighbor stars have fancy names. Meet Proxima Centauri, Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B. Me, I need just three letters. Give me an S. Give me a U. Give me an N. What does that spell? Sun. Sun, sun, he's our star. Light and heat from afar. Please note, that's a capital S. I am important. Not to hog the spotlight, but I've still got it. I'm the same hot, bright star I've always been. Milky Way Herald. A stable star is a good star. You don't want your sun getting hotter or cooling off. That would be really messy. And what do these look like? These look like newspaper articles. So he's the headliner of the news article. So grab your shades. I plan to be in the biz for another six billion years. You and me, we've got a bright future together. The end. Thank you boys and girls for tuning in. I enjoy reading to you all. I feel like I'm able to connect with you a little bit more, especially since we're not able to be in class, but we are able to still do some of the same things that we are that we would be doing if we were at Toth. I miss you all so much and I hope you have a great and fabulous day. Go outside and enjoy the sun. Bye.